Monster Jam fans, and welcome back to another episode of Monster Jam Analysis 2016. I'm your host, Monster Jam World 16, here, and today I'm going to be talking about Pirate's Curse for the 2016 season with former hook driver Steven Sims Jr. piloting this truck. Now, I got to admit, this truck does kind of follow two or three truck patterns. It follows the truck pattern of the pirate theme with Captain's Curse, also with Cap- the curse part being in the name. And it also follows the part of Zombie with the face on the hood. Now, a couple of Instagrammers had no comment towards this, and some didn't particularly like it. For me, I gotta say, this is a major step up for what Monster Jam was doing with designs. Like with um, Alien Invasion, instead of it just being a random UFO, they made it look like a techno chip or something like that. And for, like, Another truck I can name, like a Soldier Fortune Black Ops, which I'll review next episode. I gotta say this right now, they put more detail into the name of a truck. Like, Pirate's Curse, it looks like a pirate. Like, here's it has, like, the hook on the side, it has the bandana, it has the hat. And on the other side, it has, like, the sword. And then there's a sword in the mouth, and then there's the eye patch and everything. It's like a new take on what Pirate's Curse and Captain's Curse are compared to. Like, Captain's Curse is just the willies with, like, the face, half skull, half human face on the hood. And then everything else in it, it just looked bland. But then this looks like it was a new take on what Captain's Curse was meant to be. Anyway, next episode, we'll be taking a look at Soldier Forge and Black Ops and wrap up what we have from Monster Jam in 2016. I'm Monster Jam with 16 signing out.